Hey, good morning and happy full day of eating. I asked you guys what you wanted to see on my Instagram and most of you, it was all food, 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 full days of eating. And so today is a really busy day for me. I have a lot of calls back to back to back. I'm on the phone from 12 to four today with just small 30 minute breaks in between. So I thought it would be cool to show you what I do when I am super busy and maybe don't have time to like cook a lunch or sit down and eat a proper, you know, size lunch or something. Um, I'm just gonna kind of wing the day and it is 6.51 right now. I am leaving for the gym in four minutes because I have to go get gas. So I wanted to show you really quick what I had pre, what I'm eating pre-workout. Um, if you saw my last video, you know that my obsession right now is saltine crackers with honey. So I'm gonna eat that right now. And then I have a protein shake that I am going to be drinking on the way home from the gym. I'm doing Pilates this morning. Hardest workout I've ever done in my life. So I sip on this on the way home. And then when I get home, I will be eating my overnight muesli parfait, but I'll show you that as well. So um, then this morning I didn't show you because I was too tired to even pull up the camera. I just had coffee and a teaspoon of maca powder, um, splash of almonds, milk, cinnamon, stevia. The maca powder is great for endurance and energy. Um, so I'm gonna eat this really quick because I have to leave, go get, go get gas, and I will see you guys for my overnight. You silly. Mm, mm. <laughs> Bye. Just got back from Pilates, and I got my Starbucks. I have a venti blonde Americano with a splash of almond milk and two pumps of sugar-free cinnamon dolce. And then I add my own cinnamon and my stevia. It's a really rainy, gloomy day here in Florida, so I wanted something nice and warm. And then I have my overnight muesli parfait that I put in a bowl this time, just so you guys could see how amazing it is. This is the overnight muesli, and then I have granola on the bottom and on the top with fruit as well on the bottom and on the top. Um, if you watch my latest video, my, the one that I just uploaded before this one, I take you through how I make this. And so what I'm gonna do right now is just eat this very slowly and really just like drink my coffee and I'm gonna hang out with my little Luna bear, do my little morning routine over here. Very slow, relaxed morning, no TV. I put on some nice relaxing music and I just chill. So I'm gonna eat this and I'll fill you in on my day and how Pilates was. So I have a lot to say about that. <laughs> Hello guys, so it is almost noon. It is 11.41 to be exact and it is two. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, July 31st, the last day of July. And something that I am going to be talking to every single one of my clients about is reflecting on the month of July. This is something that I don't think anyone really does. We set a New Year's resolution at the beginning of the year and then we never actually set actionable, like steps in order to achieve that new year's resolution and most people fall off of their goal in the new year two weeks in and so if what i don't care what your goal is it can be business fitness relationship financial anything if you are not setting monthly goals and then reflecting on how you showed up that month how do you expect to get further in your life or to improve i believe that we, there's too many people, the majority of people out in this world are not that concerned about up leveling or becoming better or being the best version of themselves. I think that the majority of people just are on autopilot and it's so sad because you're okay with bitching and complaining and living unhappy and depressed and stressed out but you don't do anything to try to make your goals happen or live a happier life. So I just had to put that in there because I just got done reflecting on my month of July and I just made an Instagram post on it because I really want to help motivate other people that follow me. If I can touch the lives of a couple people to just start setting goals and reflect on how they showed up this past month, I want to help them get closer to their goals. So this is something that I'm going to be talking to my clients about today 
We're gonna reflect on July and we are gonna goal set for August and I'm gonna help them literally come up with a plan to put in place to get closer to that huge, scary end goal. So I know that was kind of random, but I just feel very passionate about just growing in your life. You should not just every single month should not be the same. You should be better than you were last month. On the 31st of July, you should be better today than you were July 1st. So with that being said, I do have a phone call with one of my clients at noon. I have a pretty busy day today. I told you about that this morning. Um, so that's why I wanted to, <clears throat> that's why I wanted to vlog today to show you what it looks like with my eating and just like my lifestyle when I am on the phone um, from 12 to four today. Um, with tiny little breaks in between. So I have a call at noon with my business client and then I have a call at 1.30 with a potential client and then I have another call at 2.30 or three. I can't remember which one, with another one of my business clients. Um, so that is what my day looks like. Three calls, but it's back to back to back. Um, so I'm gonna take some notes before I get on my call with my client. I like to show up to my calls with my clients very prepared. I look over their Instagrams, I listen to their stories, I read their captions. I just kind of like get caught up with what they're doing in their business. And then I, that way when I know, when I'm all up to speed a couple minutes before we hop on the call, I can really help them that much better. So I'm gonna take these next uh, 20, 15, 20 minutes to make some notes and things that I want my client to work on and to focus on this month of August to get closer to her business goals. And then little plug, just because I am talking about business, it is July 31st, so I am onboarding my new business clients for August. I do have calls every day with potential clients, so I imagine my two spots that are available for August are going to be taken pretty quickly. I've already had a really good phone call yesterday with two amazing women, so if you are interested in business coaching or just learning about what I offer, uh, click the link in the description box so we can up a phone call it's not a scary call no pressure um, I just learn about you I tell you about my program and um, yeah that's about it so I'm gonna take some notes for this call and then I will check you for my next little snack meal whatever it is hi don't make fun of me for this meal it is so random but I have 15 minutes to eat and I need to eat fat because this morning I had carbs 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 I had about probably probably around 75 to 80 grams of carbs this morning with very like five grams of fat so i need a high fat meal and i only had two eggs so my whole idea was fucked so this is what i have don't judge me don't make fun of me this is my life Okay, so I have a Caesar salad here because I had a Caesar salad last night with dinner and it was so freaking good and I just really wanted it again. So this is not for weight loss. This is not because of any other reason than I just really wanted it. <laughs> so I'm having a Caesar salad with Bolt House Farms Caesar dressing on top. And then this random mixture is some ground chicken because I needed to use it up in the fridge and it was my higher fat option. So ground chicken, two egg whites, and half an avocado with some salsa on top. So I know random, but hey, this is what I have going on. So I have about 12, 15, 20 minutes to eat. And then I get on a sales call with a potential business client. It is 4.15, I just got off my last call of the day, so I'm gonna have a proper real meal today. I feel like I haven't had a real proper meal yet. So it's 4.15, we usually have dinner around 7.30, so this will be perfect before dinner to hold me over. I have a bunch of brown rice that I already had cooked for meal prep. I sauteed up one zucchini and then some chicken that I already had for meal prep. So the only thing that I made was the zucchini really quick, and I'm just heating it up. And I have about, I measured out like a huge heaping cup, or, or, I'm sorry, not a cup, it was a half a cup measure of brown rice and it was heaping. So probably three quarters of a cup probably of rice. And then I'm gonna put it in this bowl here. It's dirty because I put the rice in there. And I'm going to uh, sprinkle or drizzle some tahini on top. I'm almost out. I love tahini. I use it all the time. It's a great fat source. It is um, sesame seed butter, essentially, ground sesame seeds. And then I might top it with some salsa 
And that's about it. I seasoned it with some curry powder, but I'm so hungry. I'm done with calls for the day. I'm going to eat this, and then I have to run to the grocery store to get some fresh fish for tonight's dinner. All right, here's the finished product. The tahini I add, it just like, it's so good. It really does help keep me full. So this is a nice serving to hold me over for dinner. I'm starving, so I gotta go eat this. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Just had that little meal. And I'm just craving something sweet. So I got this from Fresh Market a while ago. It is, um, this is the package. It's a little ratchet. But it is cacao nib and coffee cacao nectar bar made with luscious coconut meat, dark cacao, single estate coffee, roasted cacao nibs, and raw local honey. No gluten, no soy, no dairy, no grains. Um, the ingredients are just local honey, organic coconut, refined organic coconut oil, organic cacao powder, cacao nibs, ground coffee, vanilla, and Himalayan pink salt. And let me just show you the serving size because just because there is a serving size doesn't mean you have to eat it. And I'm not hungry right now because I just ate, but I was just, I haven't eaten much today to be honest because I've been so busy. And so I'm, I'm allowing myself a little piece of chocolate. I'm having about a fourth of it. So this is the serving size, that piece and I am having, this was just left in the, in the container from a little piece that I had prior. So just, um, just to show you that I do, I guess I don't, I wouldn't call this snacking, but um, if I am craving chocolate, I allow myself to have chocolate, but I never overdo it anymore. I used to, and I just, I have some things in my house that I can enjoy. Like this is very decadent and I don't need more than this. And that's gonna cure my sweet tooth because if I don't, if I want chocolate and I refuse to allow myself chocolate, then I am going to be craving it all night long and I'm not gonna be able to stop thinking about it. And that is uh, what causes binge eating and overeating. So I just wanted to share that with you. When you have a craving for something, you can always allow yourself to have a little portion and everything is gonna be okay. So now I am gonna run to the grocery store and let me, Brian is here, he came home sick from work. Oh, yes. Just because you're home, I was showing them that I felt like having a piece of chocolate, so I'm having a third of this little chocolate bar I got Ooh. from Whole Foods. I hide things from him, so now he knows I have this, okay. so yay, but um, um, I wanted him to put his two cents in for, just so they know like I'm not lying or anything. Like back in the day when I wanted chocolate, I was never able to like have a piece. Oh no, we weren't even able to have it in the house. But like, ever. but even, but like my whole mentality about having a piece of something, remember I would always be so jealous of you that yeah. you, could, you could stop eating and I could never stop. Yeah, I would always bring my stuff home and you would always be like, how do you stop? I was never able to just like break off a piece of chocolate and like, have it and be okay and when you stop the mindset that food is like this pedestal this commodity that you put on this pedestal and you stop thinking like that and you're like it's not going anywhere it's really not that big of a deal so i don't know i hope this helped comment below if you struggle with an all or nothing mentality or, or if you struggle with like overeating or snacking and things like that comment below because i would love to help you because i personally have went through that and i have also overcome it so i would love to help um so i'm gonna run to the grocery store we're gonna have some fish tonight so i'm gonna go to my favorite grocery store see what they have and i will catch you for dinner um a little bit later full day of eating hard when you just like pick up something and eat it really quick and I have to pick up the camera to show you that I am eating it. Okay. That's what you want to see. Hey. You want to see me eat. How I stay lean but I do eat I swear. I probably have had a serving of this so far so I'm going to put it away because it's 5.30 and we have a dinner and like 
an hour and a half to two hours. But I'm just starving because I really haven't eaten much today because I have been on the phone all day. So just wanted to show you. And um, I went to the grocery store, so I guess I can show you what I got. It's not that exciting, but people people like that stuff. So I got some eggs, <laughs> some organic pasture-raised eggs. These are our favorite yeah, that's from Vital Farms. And then I got some egg whites because I don't have egg whites either. So I just got two little containers so they didn't have the big one. I got my favorite kimchi. Oh, this is so good. Uh, wild brine Korean kimchi. Mm, it's amazing. Um, and then for dinner tonight, I got my favorite fish, New Zealand orange roughy. So good, my favorite. I'll show you that tonight. And then some Brussels sprouts to roast in the oven. And we're probably gonna have either rice or potato. I already have that cooked, so I'm not even gonna make it fresh. So sorry about that. I'm getting my nail fixed tomorrow because I hate this. So I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna sit and relax because I have not relaxed at all today. So I will see you to show you my last meal of the night, which will be dinner. I don't think I'll be snacking on anything because I just had those cashews that will, fat will help me uh, stay full, hopefully. But I am feeling hungry today. So keep you posted. All right, so I don't wanna make this video too, too long because my videos are always like over 20 minutes. And I just wanted to show you what I'm doing right now with the Brussels sprouts. So I have preheated the oven to 375 and I sprayed the bottom of this pan with cooking spray. I sprayed all the Brussels sprouts with spray and then I seasoned it with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And then I'm just gonna mesh it all, mesh it. I'm gonna mix it <laughs> all together with my hands just so everything is coated. I'm gonna pop it in the oven for 20 to 30 minutes. I'll let you know how long they cooked for, but they're pretty big. Like these are big guys. So I'm thinking like 30 minutes for nice tender Brussels sprouts. And then in about 15 minutes, I'm gonna start the fish. Okay, so I am just about to sear my orange roughy. If you guys find orange roughy anywhere, you have to try it. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite fish and I've only ever found it in Florida at this one market called Earth Fair in Boynton Beach. It's so good. So all I did was season it with salt, pink salt, and then this seafood seasoning that I found at my grocery store. And what I'm going to do, I'm just, I'm not gonna show you, I'm just gonna walk you through it because like I said, I don't want this video going way too long. So I have my cooking spray here and I have a pan and I have it on setting number seven. And I'm gonna spray the pan with cooking spray and then I'm also gonna add coconut oil, probably like a teaspoon of coconut oil, maybe a half a tablespoon of coconut oil. I don't really measure it anymore. If you do track your macros, you definitely should measure your, or weigh out your coconut oil. So I am going to put that coconut oil in the pan and I'm gonna sear my fish for four minutes on each side. But when I go to flip it, I'm gonna spray the unseared, the raw side with spray just so it's nice and coated and it doesn't stick to the pan. And then I'm gonna flip it, I'm gonna put a timer on for four minutes and I'm gonna put a cover on it so that the fish will finish cooking. So it really only needs a total cook time of about eight minutes. Um, and I will let you know how it looks when it's done. The Brussels sprouts are still in the oven. I put it on for another 10 minutes so I'm I'm guessing it's gonna be about like 25 minutes for the Brussels sprouts. And once dinner is ready, I will show you everything. I'm gonna add lemon to everything, lemon to the fish, lemon to the Brussels. And then I do have some Japanese sweet potato that I cooked last night that I'm just going to be heating up in the microwave because I do have a lot left over. And that's dinner, so simple. Healthy carb from the Japanese sweet potato. I have Brussels sprouts as my vegetable a lot of protein from my orange roughy, and then just a little bit of fat from the coconut oil that I used to cook with. Um, and that is going to be dinner. So I will show you when it's all done. I just wanna show you guys my beautiful fish right now. I'm about to cover it, but oh, that sear, so good. And dinner is served. Oh, it looks so good. See, I just really hope you guys understand that you can have a very simple dinner all we have here is a piece of fish, some potatoes, and a vegetable. And look at how great it looks. I know every single one of you watching this is probably like, oh, that looks so good. And it's so simple. So eating healthy does not have to be, you don't have to think it's boring. You just have to cook your food and flavor it properly. So I cannot wait to have this look so good. You guys wanted to see more full days of eating, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment below if you want to see more full days of eating. Um, I don't think I'll eat, what time is it? 
it's 7.45, so I probably won't eat again after this meal. I have a really good serving of potatoes, about a cup of potatoes, a cup of Brussels sprouts, and one big ass filet of fish. And I also have leftovers for tomorrow, for, my, for everything actually. I have more potatoes, more Brussels sprouts, and more fish. So I love to cook a little bit extra, so I can just have it for lunch for tomorrow if I need to. Um, so it's a great way to like, I don't want to say meal prep, but if you just make a little bit more for dinner, you can always have it for the next day for lunch. So that's what I love to do. Love having leftovers. So I'm going to eat this before it gets cold. I'm going to spend some time with Brian. It is 7.45 and I'm logged off of all my social media. All of my work for the night is done. So I'm going to hang out with Brian for the rest of the night, get in bed around 9 o'clock, and uh, do it all over again tomorrow. I have a busy day tomorrow too. So. I hope you guys like this video. Please comment below if you want more full days of eating or just comment below to let me know what you want to see and I will check you out in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.